we'll start. All right, it's going to be exciting. So, oh, we have to put on the slideshow. So, can I ask you <laughs> to jump start? She had it already for us. So, let me just go into it. Who has specific goals? Raise your hand. Who has specific goals that they that they made for themselves? Okay. So, anybody not telling the truth and they have goals, but they're not raising their hand? <laughs> So who doesn't have goals right now for 2019? Raise your hand if you do not have goals for 2019. Okay, so they're supposed to be, the hands that didn't go up first are supposed to go up second. So let's try this again. Who has goals for 2019? Raise your hand. Sure. Where's it open, Bill? Oh, I thought I closed it, but I guess I'm wrong. It's open. It. Okay, it's in uh, two, two. Thank you. So. There's a lot better show of hands the second time. How many people wrote their goals down on paper or on a computer? Somewhere where they can, good. Okay, what is the percent of people that have a goal written down in the world, in life in North America, let's say our world? Three percent according to the stats that I've read. So, how many, how many people can, can obtain their goals? If you ran a business and you didn't write down what you wanted to do, how is your business going to work? So what's the most important thing you have in your life? It's who's the most important person in your life? Really, it should be, it should be yourself, right? So let's start treating yourself with more respect, okay? So I've had to do this for myself, because guess what? I didn't write any goals down either. 3% sucks, right? 3% is awful. How are you going to achieve what you want if you don't actually write it out? Because when you write it out, what becomes of your goal? What becomes of your goal? Is it, is it more fuzzy or is it more? Concrete. It's more concrete. It's more clear. You can see it better. I don't know about you guys, but I, I, when I write down something, it's in my brain better. I hope it's in yours too. So we're going to jumpstart. So today, are there comments? <laughs> we're going to jumpstart. We're not going to go into a lot of the why. We're going to go into a lot of the how. Okay, and some of you, I'm glad to see you back here. So we have a teacher, at least one in this room right now. How many times does it take the average person to do something that they've learned once? Like, so how many times do they have to learn it? Let's say it that way. Or do they have to come back to the same subject, even if they already know it? I don't know why 12 is in my head. Is 12? I have no idea. I thought you'd know where it is. Is it boy or girl? Her piano. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're going to have some fun. Is it a boy or a girl? Yeah. So I totally messed Karen up. So Karen, uh, round of uh, applause for Karen right there doing the video. So she's put the slideshow together for us here, so thank you. Glenn, right in the back here, has been uh, consistently working behind the scenes. Uh, with Karen and Chrissy at the back who came. I didn't even know she was coming. Diane's daughter is in labor unexpectedly like 11 or 12 weeks early. So she was going to be here. So thankfully because I left my keys that I usually take because my wife needed gas anyway and you guys would have had to wait outside for a while. Okay, so the bottom line is I want you to use me as a resource. So 25 years I've been in practice now. Uh, four years of university before. <coughs> Uh, actually three, but uh, I take an extra course so it adds up to four. And I have another four years, which was actually five at chiropractic college, six years of university in nutrition, and exercise physiology. I'm a certified exercise physiologist as well. Um, I have my training in lifestyle medicine. I keep learning because I keep finding how amazing we are put together. We're, we're amazing. Our bodies are amazing. Our minds are amazing. And it can work for you or against you, your mind, right? So, are you ready to create your best year ever? Who has a phone here right now? Who has a phone that they can type notes on? Who would rather have a piece of paper and a pen? Okay, so we're gonna get that. So we're gonna come back to this because if you don't write down your goal, I don't think you're gonna get there, okay? So please, after tonight, if you don't get pen and paper, if it doesn't work out, please write it down, that's your homework. You can share it with us. Okay? But you have to write it down. Only you can decide to do that. I can't make you do it. So most people have a mindset problem. 
most people, 98% of us, have negative self-talk. 97, 98, according to psychologists. Does that surprise you? You dummy, you should have done this. You dummy, you should have taken those keys with you. That's what I said. Just <laughs> right here. Right. So you've got to replace who's ever thought, who's gotten in their way the most of anybody? If, if you had a personal trainer that was you, that was motivating you, would you fire them? Because <laughs> I would have fired my own personal trainer myself many times, right? So I'm sure you're in the same boat. And so it's just whether you admit it or not. So just, I had a challenge for myself, how long I can go without a negative thought, and I have not lasted more than 10 minutes. Uh -huh. All right, so let's see if you can get Dr. Phil, who me. raised their hands for paper and pen? Who raised their hands? So raise your hand again if you want a pen and paper. So we're going to move that after, but you can start writing your goals down now. So I like the phrase, be, do, have. You have to go from can't to can. You have to go from I don't to I do. And you have to go from I haven't to I have. Be, do, have. Okay, so that, that's, that's my statement through here. We have five fundamentals. It's always the same five fundamentals. They haven't changed since the beginning of time. The philosophy of chiropractic hasn't changed in over 100 years. Has the philosophy of other healthcare practitioners changed in 100 years? We are consistent with how life works. Okay, and you're, you're going to see these principles become more and more prevalent. More and more medical doctors are adopting our principles and they're keeping them for their own because they're the principles of life. We didn't make them up, we just observed them. And so the body is amazing, it has its self-healing capacity. You need to know that. Your mindset's critical, so many people are stuck on the mind, so we have some stuff for today. So there are so many people that get in their own way, like Kayla, I'm gonna give you an example, who lost 100 pounds in just over a year, okay? And it was her mindset that was the big deal, and we had to change her mindset. That was the first thing. If you don't have that going, these are in order. Then you have to have a nerve supply. Roger, who's a chef, it's actually his 54th birthday today, and that's what made me think about him today. He lost 27 pounds in the first five weeks of care, and he, he's a chef, and his wife eats gluten-free, and he eats well. He lost 27 pounds in just about five weeks because we turned the power onto his thyroid and to his organs of detoxification and so on. So sometimes that's the major problem. Sometimes it's the nutrition. So if you want to lose weight, how many people have that as a goal, by the way? Anybody have that as a goal? How many people want to gain weight? Some people want to gain weight. So this is a program that if you need to lose weight, you're going to lose weight. If, you're good, if you need to gain weight, you're going to gain weight. It's not a diet. It's a lifestyle. It's what you need to do to get healthy. All these things get you healthy, and as a side effect, you're going to get to the right weight. Exercise. Exercise is usually, it's, it's overcooked for what, you, what most people think is for your weight. It does maybe 20%. If you have these first two, this does 80%. This does 20. Exercise only worth 20 on weight, if that. But exercise is undervalued for overall health. It is so important. You cannot be healthy without exercise. It's impossible to be at your health without exercise. Impossible. Detoxification. We have so many toxins. We're not going to talk about that at this time. But you're going to, if you follow this plan and you're eating the traditional way and you follow this plan, you will detoxify on your own. And that's why I don't like people detoxing, right, when they first start getting into this. They're going to be talk detoxing anyway. It's too much for the body. Most people that have weight loss resistance have toxicity, and that's the reason why they don't lose the weight properly. That's the reason. And we're going to get into that. That's at Resolution Reset, February the 13th. That's when we're going to get into that. All right, so there's Kayla, 100 pounds, pretty awesome. She followed the advanced plan. Some people, like Jeff, I'm going to tell you, I told him to get off the advanced plan. Some people call it um, uh, paleo, but ours is a paleo, but it's, it's, it's different than paleo, but overall people would generally recognize it as paleo. It's a cross between paleo, Mediterranean, and so on. Um, but it's basically taking the top research and putting it together into one plan. Now, are, is everybody going to respond the exact same way if, if they think the same? If they think the same, is everybody going to respond the exact same way? Is everybody going to respond the sa exact same way with nerve supply? Well, from one perspective, you have to have a spine that's straight and you have to have the curves, and we're going to touch on that in the exercise here. Is everybody going to respond to the same foods? 
this is the most variable of all the fundamentals, is some plans, so 90% of you will respond to the basic advanced plan and the basic core plan, and about 10% of you will have to tweak it a little bit. Some of you will have weight loss resistance that we have to tweak it. So you can use me as extra resource. It costs a lot more money, so I, I dial my per hour down to 250 per hour, so, but get, ask me questions here. Is what, come out to these events, because that's where you're gonna, you're gonna get some advice without paying for it, so to speak, right? Okay, so I know I'm talking fast, and I know I'm giving you a lot of information. So you're gonna get the specific how to she did this, just follow, and then if you need to ask why, then come to the other events. If the why is really important to you, then, and I hope it is, because you're not gonna stay on long term, but understand the why leads to health, not just to weight loss or to weight gain. The why leads to overall health. Okay, these exercises, we don't start off because we think it's a good idea. Joints will degenerate. If you don't brush and floss your teeth, what happens to your teeth? I used this last time, and it worked out pretty good if you understood it. Do they stay in your mouth pretty good, or do you need a new set later? Can you get a new spine? You can't get any new spine. So if you don't take care of it, it's the only one you've got, you're going to end up with a walker or a wheelchair leader. So you must take care of your spine and you must do things daily to help it. And of course, all your joints in your body, they don't get a direct blood supply. They need, they need to be lubricated with food, water, and oxygen and, and oil-like fluid. So um, this is where we do the, is this the exercise, the five minute, I think? Yeah, the five minute. So who came prepared to exercise? Raise your hand. Who came prepared? Did you guys know there was going to be a workout here? No. No? Okay. So, if you didn't come prepared to work out, will you allow the rest of us to, or do you want us to skip it? No. Okay. Should we do it? Do it. Okay. And if you didn't, because you're, if you do this the right way, if you haven't been doing exercise, you will sweat in less than a few weeks. The only reason, you, if you don't sweat after doing this five minute workout and you get to the intermediate stage, it's because you have uh, toxicity and you're not, you're not gonna sweat because you have weight loss resistance or you have some toxicity in you. You could even be underweight and have weight loss resistance. Okay, so we're gonna get to that workout in one sec. I just wanna go over a couple more things. So Dr. Kells, uh, a colleague of mine, she, after her second child, she has three, uh, she was about 220 pounds and she should be about 145. She lost way over 65 pounds by getting into the mindset of this. That was her big deal too, like Kayla's. And so you have to, do you have to push yourself? If you do the same thing you did before, are you gonna get a different result? Do you have to push yourself? But more it's pushing what? Is it pushing physically? It's pushing mentally. It really is pushing, you need to push mentally. So you have to try it. If it doesn't work, you're gonna make a change. If that doesn't work, you're always gonna grow one way or the other. I don't mean like this way. I mean, you're gonna grow <coughs> mentally. That's what I mean, right? So you have to have your big idea. If you don't have a, a big idea and a big why, your why has to be stronger than the negative detractors. And so you have to have a goal, you have to anchor it to your big why, and we're gonna talk about this at Resolution Reset. I had some very exciting exercises for us to do at Resolution Reset. I think they're exciting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this can be your best year ever if you what? If you do what? What do we do? We have to make a plan, we have to have some goals, we have to have a big why. Does the big why have to be about just you? In fact, what if it's just about you, the big why? It's okay. It's okay, but it probably ain't gonna work. You have to anchor your big why to something more than you. Most people, the you's not good enough because that's why you haven't succeeded so far if you haven't got what you want. If you have, then you've already done it. But I think you've anchored to something else besides you. I think you've anchored it to your family or you've anchored to a, to a goal you have. If you're on a mission, like one of the teachers that came in, she's on a mission to help kids that are underprivileged. That's her big one. But you need to have your, so this is the solution. So it may not be easy, like we said here, you may have to push yourself, 
but it's simple. It actually is. Um, we've got it all uh, outlined for you. It's all simple. And uh, Dr. BJ, a colleague of mine, he has it in the book, Align Your Health. It's a great book. If there's one book you're going to read, that's the one. Because he talks about everything I've just talked about, maybe not in that detail, but he talks about it. So what does it look like? That's what you have to create. That's what we're going to talk about, Resolution Reset, because we do it February the 13th. Because why? Most people have given up on their 2019 and they failed. <coughs> so we're going to teach you how not to fail. Yeah. But we want you to start now. Is it OK to fail? Yeah. It's okay to fail. Is it okay to get disease? Sure, it's okay to get disease. 99% of heart disease is reversible, according to Dr. Dean Warnish, according to Dr. Jack Wolfson, whose book, The Paleo Cardiologist, is in our office that I really love, that you must get if you have any cardiac disease. I'm not looking at anybody particularly. Okay, so if you have cancer, is it, is it more likely or less if you follow the five fundamentals, you're gonna get cancer again? Or you're going to get rid of it. What do you think? The research shows 95%. Do you know that? 95%. What I'm talking about is not blowing smoke. You don't have to fear genetics, okay? You have to fear your lifestyle. Genetics means this much. It doesn't matter if all of your family has a disease. And I'm going to show you the example of Jeff coming up that I talked about uh, right here. So Jeff is an example. His dad died in his late 40s with psoriatic and different types of arthritis. Jeff has the exact same thing genetically. He was on six drugs when he came to see me. He's not on those six drugs anymore. He's off all six. He's lost 45 pounds. He is married, but he's got a lot of new uh, friend requests. So I'm posting this on Facebook. <laughs> all right, so you can't get ripped abs without exercise. But his actual loss of weight was mostly from nutrition. He followed the advanced plan, paleotype plan. He followed that plan, and now we've told him to come off because he's losing too much weight. What a problem, eh? <laughs> All right. So which way are you going? You have to take inventory and measure where you are. So if you want to lose weight, you have to take the body fat percentage test. All right? So who here has done that? Don't go by BMI. Good. BMI is okay. Do you know what that means? It means your body divided your, by your height, you know, like squared. So that's okay. That's a general recommendation. But even me, even if you have a little bit of muscle, my BMI is over. It tells me I'm overweight. But my body fat tells me like I'm lean. So you can't go. If you start adding muscle, BMI won't mean anything. And you can be a good BMI and have too much fat as well. It goes both ways. So that's why I don't like you going by BMI chart. So in OHIP, I'm always going to anchor it to the regular system because people say, well, I could just follow the regular system. Is the ounce of prevention or the pound of cure followed by OHIP? Do you know just with nutrition, just when we're talking about this, and these are principles, you have to have vitamins, all right? Vitamins like you're going to get with our nutrition shakes, okay? That just vitamins you're going to get, vitamin D, 80% of breast cancer and colorectal cancer is entirely preventable if you have the right vitamin D. But OHIP, what do they do? Do they wait for you to have colorectal cancer or do they actually test you for vitamin D? Can you get that no charge through OHIP? No charge. You can get it no charge if you have a disease already. So let's not prevent anything. Let's wait till you get the colorectal cancer and then we'll spend $150,000 on the surgery and then we'll spend the $100,000 on the chemo and the $75,000 or $200,000 or whatever it costs for the radiation. So that's the system you're up against if you follow medical advice. Don't follow medical advice only. Follow it for acute care to save your life. They're excellent at that. But if you want to get healthy, are they good at that? So my, my pal, who I was able to adjust for the first time when he was in his uh, 90s, Who's that? Who came Who came to Dr. Gifford Jones? Oh, yeah. You remember him? Yeah. So I got to adjust the guy's full life. The, his cardiologist, after his heart surgery, after he had his heart attack, his cardiologist told him to go on cholesterol pills and all these other things. And he said, Dr. Gifford Jones, you're a damn fool for not going on those things. But he knew differently. And he did other things. And Dr. Gifford Jones is 94 and alive. His cardiologist is dead. 
Okay. So these things, it doesn't matter how much money you have. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how much success you have. Number one thing, you can't be good. If you're, these guys were great men. And I didn't have a woman to show you. I'm sorry. I apologize. But if you can think of one, I want to put that in for the next one. Like, I know I can think of lots, but I want a Canadian female. Okay, so think of a Canadian female. I didn't even want to put Steve Jobs in there. All right, but the point is, is that they had a lot of money, yes or no? Did that save them? No. Do you think they would have done things differently if they could go back? So why not start now? All right, so treating the causes of disease, everything we're talking about actually prevents disease, and if you have disease already, you're going to get rid of it. You're going to reverse it, just like Jeff, just like Kayla. You know, she had metabolic syndrome. She had all sorts of different things. She was on drugs. She's off them, too. All right, all the national health organizations are actually recommending what we're talking about as the first thing you should try. They all recommend it. Okay, so fundamental number one. We're going to get to in one sec. So it's time. Who's ready now that you're a little bit motivated, that you know you're going to get a plan to help you? Who's motivated to do some action? I want you to write out one thing that you knew if you stopped doing, you would be better. So one thing, doesn't matter what it is, it doesn't have to be mindset, it could be, if I stopped eating the whole bag of chips at night, uh, I know I'd be better. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> it could be, I know if I was more positive in my self-talk, I know I would be better, it could be something like that. So one thing you're gonna stop doing, okay, and if you, if you don't get all this written down, just write out, if you're writing stuff down, then the next thing to write out is what am I going to continue doing that's good? What am I going to continue doing that's good? Oh. Yeah. Oh, I didn't make it up. We're out of it now. Okay. <laughs> so, two big of cups. Sure. Okay. No, sorry. Uh, I didn't bring it up. So, whoever didn't get it, you can get samples next time. Okay. Actually, you know what? Uh, I didn't bring mine with me. Okay. So, whoever hasn't had one and uh, really wants one, just tell them and we'll make you one. Uh, coming up for when the next time you're in the office. All right. So, what's your excuse? So, I drink that every day personally, and that's my. This is my breakfast. This is what I drink right here. Okay. So sometimes I have whey protein, and I usually put avocados. So this only has um, plant protein. It has the max greens. And by the way, in the max greens, there is uh, wheat grass, there's oat grass, there's, I think, barley grass. Let me see. So there's a lot of good stuff in here. No cannabis. <laughs> I'll drink it every day. <laughs> All the grass. Uh, so it's the grass, like, so it is actually, you know, um, shredded or uh, what do they call it, juiced. So they juice the grass so you're not going to be a cow and try to die digest grass, so all the enzymes are there to digest it. Okay, somebody who has glasses? Yeah. Thank you. So just the ingredients? Yeah. It's, Where are you? Uh, it's right. There it is. Yeah. Like yeah. a blend. Um, alfalfa grass, barley grass, oat grass, uh, wheat germ powder, and uh, chlorella is in there too. Okay. As far as the grasses, that which one? That's the yeah, greens. Yeah, you can and then, the whole thing. and then there's a whole bunch of veggies: beet, carrot, spinach, broccoli, tomato, kale, cabbage, parsley, leaf, um, Brussels sprouts, green bell, pe uh, green bell pepper, cucumber, celery, garlic, ginger root, green onion, cauliflower, and asparagus. Then they also have antioxidants in there which are strawberries, raspberry, blueberry, tart cherry, pomegranate, and cranberry. And then there is an immunity blend, which is, um, I think that's, what's the reishi? Isn't that the mushroom? Mushroom, yeah. Yeah, mushroom. Um, a whole bunch of mushrooms, I think. Maritake, shiitake, uh, lots of updates. Lots of all of them. <laughs> and then wolf, what's this one? Wolforia. Cocos and organic um, egg, egg uh, agaricus. Yeah, not egg. Yeah. No agaricus, no. blazel, and then elderberry. Um, and then astragalus or something. Astragalus. Yeah. Okay. Very And then there's also fiber and prebiotic blend, too. There's inulin from chicory root and acaia gum. Or I, I don't know if I'm yeah. saying that. 
and then probiotic so enzyme probiotic. blend as well. A whole bunch of the probiotic stuff that I can't pronounce. It. So, in the probiotics are from real food. You'll, you'll see how the research is showing people that just take probiotics. It's not it's not good enough. They it's might got bromelain in here, yeah. and it's got the lacto in the bile, which is the upper tract and the bottom tract of your digestive. There's that's uncommon to find both. Both. See, yeah. there you go. I'm glad you I know, know that from, from my little nutrition course. That's good. That's a good one. That's a good blend. So that's why <laughs> I like it. That's why we carry the best stuff. You that won't get good. the cheapest stuff here, but you'll get the best stuff. Here. And that's just the, that's called the greens, though. That's just the greens. That's just the greens. That's the greens with the yeah. protein. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Really good Which one. vitamin K is in that? I have no clue. It but you, say it on. will say, and you 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 can look at it after. Um, yeah, it's it's got. So basically, you take a whole pile of vegetables and put them in that drink. So you're getting five to seven servings of vegetables in a, in a cup of that stuff. Okay, so it's, it's powerful stuff for your health. So the fundamental thing, so we got to what are you going to stop doing? What are you going to keep doing? And the last one I want you to have is what are you going to... What's the next one? Change. Yeah, what are you going to... Change. Stop, start doing. Or oh, start doing. Yeah, change. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what are you going to start doing? So stop, continue, start. So those are the three. You've got to answer those questions to come back into this office. <laughs> We're going to talk about some smarter goals. Chrissy educated me. There's an E and an R on the smarter goals. We're going to talk about that at the uh, next segment. So you, I think you know this. That in the advanced plan, you have a small amount of carbohydrates by, in terms of calories. So crazy enough, you get all those nutrients like vitamin K and so many other nutrients in there, but it doesn't cost you a lot of calories to have that drink. The biggest amount of calories is me putting my avocado in there, but I didn't put it in this one. So I made this one with uh, two-thirds water and one-third uh, coconut uh, milk. And there's some cinnamon. I put some cinnamon in there. Uh, but usually I'll put some other stuff. Now my kids, they need berries, they need more sweetness. So that might have been too tart for some people, right? So if that was not to your liking, you just add whatever you want. So if you, there's like uh, about 10 different juice recipes, like just the same thing that I just made there, only 10 different versions of it on our website, right? So that's gonna be, if you're gonna follow the seven day plan that I have for you, that's your breakfast, okay? All right. So you need to eliminate grains, sugars, and fruits. I think you know this. Breads are out. Sorry for seven days, no breads. Okay. Protein, moderate intake. So the fist size serving of protein, if it's an animal source, I'm really going to encourage you to go more plant based. All right. The more plants you eat, the less meat you eat, the better you will be. There's no two ways about it. I'm a meat eater. I love meat. I tried to go vegetarian. Can't do it so far. As soon as I can't again. But I don't have a big enough why yet because my health is. And I, and I think for some people it's a good idea to have meat and for others it's not. So you're gonna, you can test yourself, so you can blood work, you can do all these things that we test, that I test on myself, that you can test on yourself. Not everybody's gonna be the same. Some people are better with being vegetarian than others. So if it, if it doesn't work for you, we just change it up, that's all, right? So the fats, you wanna increase your healthy intake of, of fats. There is some great fats in some fruit. What's the best fruit? I love this fruit. I have it every day, pretty much. Oh, oh, avocado. God. Yeah, avocado is awesome. And so there's other fats and, and uh, other sources too. So it doesn't have to be that you're going to get your fat only from meat, right? Okay. So intermittent fasting. So this is your. So don't worry. You're not going to get all this. It's it, you're getting it in the email. So you don't have to write the specifics down. Okay. Write the big bullet points. And when I say it's a writer downer, I'll let you know. Okay, so this stuff here, the intermittent fasting, who's done it? I think we had a show of hands last time. So if you haven't done it, if you're having this shake for your breakfast, it is a great way to do an intermittent fast. It's not a fast that you're stopping eating, but you don't have to spend a lot of energy to digest that food that you just drank. And that's food. You must eat that food. That is not to gulp. If you do not eat that food, what happens to the carbohydrates? They don't get digested. I think that's what you said, yes? <laughs> right? They do not get digested. Salivary amylase is what you, when you chew, making salivary amylase, which digests carbohydrates. You don't need to digest, if you've ever seen, I use the analogy with my dog, 
if they eat a vegetable, what do they do, a dog? They chew it, but oddly enough, when you give them meat, what do they do? Swallow. Swallow. They're smart. They know they need to chew vegetables. They're salivary amylase in dogs, too, and they need that amylase to digest that food, but they don't need it to digest the protein, the meat. They're pretty smart. All creatures are smart, okay, including us. All right, fundamental number four exercise. We just did a type of surge training, so we didn't have any real rest, but if you take a look, you just rest to what you need, but to go in bursts of high intensity is what will take you to the next level of fastest. It has the most research for cardiovascular health, for preventing cancer, and for diabetes and blood sugar control. This is the best training, there's no doubt about it. Okay, there's other good training. Uh, I recommend you do this three times a week. Play other sports, do other exercises, go for a walk, go for a hike. That's all good for your mindset, and it's all good for activity and so on. But if we're talking exercise and bang for buck, surge training is it. Too many people work out for too long, they get injured, and they overdo it. Like, I see CrossFitters all the time come in here, and they've overdone it. And they can't exercise for months sometimes because they've got an injury. You don't need to, to, do, to go that hard. Okay? So we have, when this gets too easy, our five-minute workout, you go online, or you come in here, rather, you order the uh, Max T3, which is a 12-minute workout, of which six minutes are rest because it's that hard. And you will be sore if you do our advanced five-minute workout. You, you will be. And if, you, if, you, if you're not sore, then I will work out with you, and I promise you will be sore. <laughs> Glenn, this fundamental, he had a lot of things going for him, and so Glenn himself, this was the thing he needed to take his, his self to the next level of health. Do you want to say anything about that? Or? Well, uh, yeah, so for me, the big thing was I used to do uh, P90X, which is not just an hour workout, and, and uh, it's, it's more of a muscle building, that sort of thing, whereas this thing here, um, when Phil taught me, or introduced it to me, it was, I couldn't believe it was an exercise you do in six minutes, and once you get going on it, the weight just falls off once you get into it. In fact, I got you into it. You got uh, me mad. I did it before you did it, yeah. 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 I said, hey, there's this thing that I'm planning on doing, Glenn, he goes, what the heck is it? And he started doing it, and he lost so much weight, he got me on it. <laughs> so, thank you. And so, I lost some of my beer belly. Okay, so, uh, but the big thing is, is that you were going from an hour, and then yeah. you reduced your workout, so it, it, he said six minutes, but six minutes is rest too, so it's 12 minutes, that's right, right. it's yeah, a 12 minute workout. Totally, yeah. But it is six minutes. So 15 minutes, let me warm up and cool, yeah. and cool down. 15 yeah. minutes. Yeah. So yeah. who hasn't got 15 minutes, like, two or three times a week, right? And that's advanced. You can get good with five minutes if you want, okay? So it doesn't take a long time. So I want to tell you there's a myth, though, that... Exercise, nutrition, and mindset heals the body. So what's the difference? Did we talk about this last time? I can't remember. Did we talk about the person that's dead? That if I give them, um, if I start praying for them and I start doing, well, maybe they could come back. I'm not going to argue. Maybe there's one in there. How many? But if I start having, feeding them positive information and I start, you know, getting them, can they, they can't say affirmations, they're dead. But if I start giving them good food, can they get better? If I did an IV and do a dead person, could I give them all the vegetables I want in the world? Would that change them when they're dead? No. Would it, would it, could I make them, could I move their limbs and make them exercise and help them out that way? What's the difference between dead and alive? What's the one difference? Do you still have food in your body? Do you still have water in your body? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the nerve supply. It's the nerve supply. Most people neglect the fact that your nerve supply is key. And so that's why Roger couldn't actually work properly uh, with his thyroid, with his organs of detoxification, because his brain, his spine was messed up, and he couldn't allow the brain messages to flow down. That's why posture moderates and affects and controls every physiological function. So if your spine's off, case in point, we had a guy come in, he, um, his blood pressure went up to almost 200. And he was at about 120 before he came in. And he had gotten down to half his medication. He had a weekend where he went away. His, he came back, his neck was a rigid board. I asked him what his blood pressure was because when your neck's rigid, what's gonna happen to the nerves that go to your heart? Anybody know? They're gonna have trouble. They're gonna have trouble. And so we got it, it took us two weeks to get his neck back. 
I said, you're not allowed to go on weekend shopping trips anymore. <laughs> and, uh, and his blood pressure went down and he went off half the medication again. And his doctor, was he's got a, one of those docs that's good with that. But it just shows you, and this is a guy that's coming in regularly. Yeah. And he's, he's had a neck problem and he's not corrected yet, but he's part way through. So I'll just give you an example of that. Uh, heart rate variability. So we're going to get a different test. We used to have EIS scan. But the nerve scan is the best way that we have to measure how all the nerves are getting through. The control of every organ is from your brain. Your brain has to send the signals through, right? So it has to send the signals through. And so this Dr. Malcolm is a medical doctor, and he says it's the number one predictor of how long you're going to live, how healthy you're going to be, and there's a lot of doctors that are saying the same thing like him. And chiropractic affects heart rate variability. It affects how you control your organs more than anything ever studied, just so you know. So uh, chiropractic is one of those things that's underrated as far as I'm concerned. I have a little time, it's only a time. <laughs> Toxins are everywhere, we know about this. And we have a toxic nation, I think you know about that. So we have to get chemicals out. Those greens, all those things in there are going to help you get, guess what? They're detoxifiers. Greens are detoxifiers. That's why when you go on the juice cleanse, you're going to detoxify your body. And that's different. <clears throat> don't, excuse me. <clears throat> don't go on a juice cleanse unless you've done the nutrition plan that I'm telling you for at least four weeks. It's too much for your body if you haven't been eating well. It's just too much. All right? So lots of different channels to get rid of toxins. And so the nerve system has to control that. You have to eat right. Exercise is so important because you'll know, clear sweat, clears toxins. If you're not sweating, you're not clearing toxins. So you have to, so you must sweat every week. In fact, I think three, four times a week is, is the minimum. So, and it, and it doesn't take long. Some of you sweated from that exercise. I did, and I did it like not even one-tenth of what I normally would do in my five-minute workout, right? Okay, and I, and I sweated just from that. Sorry for a moment, <laughs> if you did. So, what's your seven-day action step? You can make it into 14 or 21 days. It's all laid out right here, day one. Okay, I'm going to give, uh, who doesn't have internet and email? Anybody not have internet and email? Okay, so you're going to get this by internet and email. So day one, breakfast is what? Shake. Shake. Okay, welcome to Wellness Power Smoothie. Lunch, <clears throat> you can make it whatever you want. Uh, we've got our sample lunch on day one is a Greek salad with turkey burger. If you don't want to have a turkey burger, don't have it. Okay, just have, have the salad. All right, and then there's all sorts of samples. Big Mac, yeah. <laughs> Big Mac, yeah. <laughs> KFC. Your snack's going to be raw nuts, sea salt, uh, trail mix. Okay, so that's going to be your snack that day. And there's all sorts of different snacks if you want to make them up, if you're having troubles. We have a group. It's called the Five Fundamentals. If you're having troubles with any of this stuff, Glenn is on that. Karen is on that. I'm on that. Facebook group. Facebook, thank you. Yeah, yeah. So we're there to help you. You you get on that group. You'd have to be invited to it. If you have trouble, post in there, and somebody's going to reply with some recommendations. So we want to help. So does do people do better with a buddy system? Does everybody have a buddy that they can talk to though all the time? So that's what this group's for. Okay. So I want you. To, but if you have a buddy, a live buddy that's you know not on the internet, right? If you have one right there with you, yeah. bring them into this. How many people need a buddy to pull them in? Like tons. Is it you guys? The check off that I had the check box where you've already you were here. How many people do you know that should be here that aren't here? Right. So sometimes you need a little help. Like Bev, you might have brought your friend and said, "You're coming with me tonight." We've had that happen so many times where you're coming with me and the person doesn't even know. Like why they're coming? They're just I'm picking you up. <laughs> you're coming with me. That happened. We had a new person come in. The guy was uh, anti chiropractic, and his buddy for his birthday said, "I got you a present." And uh, he brings him into the office, and the guy goes, "Well, I'm against this." <laughs> and now he's referred like about twelve people in already, and he's only been here for a couple of months. He said, like, "I didn't know you guys did that. I didn't know you guys did this," and he's changed his life already. So for dinner, you're going to have a chicken breast with oven-roasted vegetables. If you don't like roasted vegetables, have them raw. Okay? So, like, this is just examples. Do whatever you want. Day two, welcome to Wellness Smoothie. There's a surprise for breakfast. 
coleslaw and hemp seeds in salad. Um, so what kind of uh, things are in hemp seeds and uh, chia seeds? Omega-3. Good, which are? Fats. Healthy fats, not a meat source. I generally, uh, five times a week, will have my chia and hemp cereal. That's what I personally have. And, that, and I mix that with berries of some kind, blueberries, raspberries. So today, that's what I had. I had uh, chia, hemp, blueberries, raspberries. When I say breakfast, that's after my shake. So that's like my, kind of like my snack, if you will. All right, so that instead of your snack that way, that might be your snack. In this case, the coleslaw with hemp seeds. So if you don't like doing that and it's in coconut milk, then just do whatever you want. But there's some main ingredients that you should have in here, and these are listed. All right, so then, uh, then your Granny Smith apple is going to be your snack that day if you want. Almond butter. Uh, why almond butter and not peanut butter? Almonds are better than peanuts. Yep. Any? Almonds have better. The fat's better. The fat's better. Protein source is better. In fact, peanuts are not. What? Peanuts are not. Right. For you, for I'm concerned. Yeah, they're not good. Yeah, you're allergic to those things. But they're not the same source of protein. Yeah, they're not actually specific. There you go. Let's see, somebody knows. All right. Um, pumpkin, so, Granny Smith apple with almond butter, cinnamon, and pumpkin seeds. Then for dinner, a cabbage salad. Oh boy, that sounds good to a meat eater with hemp seeds. <laughs> Can't wait for that. So, you're going to have to have some determination. All right. So, now, do you have to jump into this? Does this have to be your plan? Do you have to do this to get results? <laughs> uh, so you don't, it depends on how much results you want. So if you want to lose five to seven pounds, like I said, in the first week, you kind of have to do this. If you don't want to lose that much and that's not your goal in the first week, then you don't have to do it. Just do some of this. Do whatever you're comfortable with. So some people are going to jump start and some people are going to yeah, right? That's the way they're going to do it. Okay, so day four is going to be power smoothie for breakfast, buffalo chicken wraps, hot sauce, blue cheese, and lettuce if you want that for lunch. If you don't like cheese, don't worry about it. Uh, you know, raw, unpasteurized cheese has what in it? Yep, you named a whole bunch of them that you said was in two different probiotics. And so if you have raw and pasteurized cheese, and we've given you the list on your email of where you can buy that, which is off the cleaver, where I get mine, you can get some at Costco, you can get some at other spots too. TNS has some sometimes, not all the time. Um, the other one is that uh, I wonder if you can get the cheese market. market. I have um, no idea. And if yeah, you find it, you can. Because like, they carry all no, sorts no, of stuff. sheep's milk, goat's milk. When um, you go there, can you please ask if they have raw, unpasteurized yeah, cheese, right. and we will add it to our list. Anywhere yeah. you find stuff that we don't have on our list, please, let's share it. Yeah. Let's, let's uh, help each other. They absolutely have it Saturdays at the St. Lawrence Market in the, not in the main building, in the farm markets, where the market, where they, where they come, because there's a couple that, um, there's a couple that's there, and they actually own the green sheep and stuff. That cool. They, that they get the milk. They're, they're the farmers that make the cheeses. And and I, I don't want to like overdo cheese. That's my uh, like that's when I've uh, accomplished a goal for me. That's when I have cheese personally, because uh, it's like a reward because I really love it. But it's yeah, I don't think you should eat cheese as your main ingredient of your food. Okay. <laughs> so just so you know, <laughs> so this much on cheese. This much on vegetables, okay? All right. Um, yeah, so mini grass-fed burgers with roasted cauliflower. And how many minis will add up to a fist? <laughs> That's how many minis you have, okay? So don't go more than your fist size. So unfortunately, my fist, I need some, I need to borrow your, your fist, James. Yes, I, to, I want more. The bigger. I, I got yeah. this fist. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna use your fist. Okay. All right. So, welcome to Wellness Power Smoothie. Day six, leftover salmon and goat. Uh, sorry, I missed day five. So chicken salad is the lunch. Red peppers and tahini dip are the snack. Fancy salmon, I don't know what fancy salmon is, but fancy salmon over greens and sauteed zucchini. Um, you're gonna see that uh, you're gonna have that for your leftover lunch on day six and some greens. Baba ganoush, who knows what that is? 
delicious. It's delicious. And celery. That's going to be your snack. Fish fry, steamed vegetables and salads. Your dinner on day six. Day seven is going to be for breakfast. Fluffy Wallace Power Smoothie. Uh, ground turkey, zucchini boats. Those are pretty cool, actually. Uh, raw vegetables and hummus. That's my favorite yeah, snack. Good. Chicken relayed with walnuts and uh, some kind of word I can't read here that's too small for my eyes. I've never made this one, so I don't know what it is either. Where are you? It's uh, down here. That one. With walnuts and pecorino. What's oh, that? you're lucky you asked the Italian. Yeah. It's just cheese. Cheese? It's just cheese. Okay. It's just cheese. It's just cheese. It's just cheese. Okay. So, <laughs> questions. What time is it, by the way? Oh, so I went seven minutes over. Okay, so I wanted to stop in an hour. Now, questions. Fire away. So is it everybody can to can? Can't to can? Yes? Who can't? <laughs> everybody can? Yeah. All right. Is there people who the seven days? Or it's after you wait. Well, do for those seven days, or it's after the way the seven days are. Or can you do whatever you want? Flip them around. Flip anything you want, and flip the recipes. Like, let me just show you right here. Go on our website. If you haven't been on, you wouldn't believe how many recipes are. And every week we add one. Mm -hmm. Lots of desserts too. 